Awkward conversations. Very few of us enjoy them. The ones where we need to point out uncomfortable truths, challenge the status quo, or confront difficult issues head on. It's not surprising that we often shy away from these conversations, preferring to keep the peace rather than risk discomfort or conflict. But what if these conversations held the key to unlocking profound change and personal growth? In her groundbreaking book, Fierce Conversations, renowned public speaker and executive coach Susan Scott presents a practical guide to having authentic, powerful conversations that can change the trajectory of your life. Drawing on her extensive experience working with Fortune 100 companies and leading CEO think tanks, Scott reveals that conversations are the cornerstone of relationships, and by mastering the art of conversation, we can transform our personal and professional lives. Scott's expertise in leadership development shines through in Fierce Conversations, as she shares compelling anecdotes, practical techniques, and thought-provoking assignments to illustrate the profound impact conversations can have. This book is not about sugarcoating or avoiding the tough stuff. It's about embracing candor, being present, and finding authenticity in every conversation we have. Whether you want to be the friend who offers sincere advice, the employee who addresses team issues head-on, or the manager who fosters a culture of open communication, Fierce Conversations equips you with the tools you need to become an expert communicator. Through engaging exercises and step-by-step -step techniques, you'll discover how to navigate difficult conversations with grace and compassion while staying true to your values and objectives. Susan Scott's compelling insights and actionable strategies have made her a sought-after speaker and coach in the corporate world. Her previous best-selling books, Fierce Leadership and Fierce Love, have garnered widespread acclaim, and she has captivated audiences with her keynote presentations and inspiring TEDx talks. Now, in Fierce Conversations, she shares her wisdom and expertise, offering a transformative roadmap for building stronger connections, resolving conflicts, and driving positive change. So, raise your hand if you're ready to embark on a journey of personal and professional growth. Get ready to engage in fierce conversations and discover how these powerful, effective exchanges can lead to profound transformation in your life. Prepare to unleash your authentic voice and embrace the potential that lies within every conversation you have. Welcome to the world of fierce conversations, where communication becomes a catalyst for change. Chapter 1. Unleashing the Power of Fierce Conversations In this chapter, we delve into the transformative potential of fierce conversations and their role in reshaping our lives. As we find ourselves at crossroads, whether in struggling businesses or unsatisfactory personal relationships, we begin to question how we arrived at such a point. To alter our trajectory, we must recognize that conversations are the dice we roll in the board game of life, determining our advancement and growth. However, not all conversations are created equal, it is the fierce conversations that hold the key to profound change. Fierce conversations possess an unparalleled strength, fueled by authenticity, passion, and an untamed spirit. These conversations embody the true essence of who we are, unfiltered by societal norms or personal fears. When embraced within a company, they foster an environment where employees feel valued and engaged, leaders become effective mentors, mediocrity is no longer tolerated, and individuals feel empowered to express their truth. Similarly, within the realm of personal relationships, Fierce conversations provide the safe space necessary for families and friendships to flourish. They assure us that, even in the face of difficult truths, everyone's best interests are held at heart. Chapter 2. Embracing the Multiplicity of Truths In this chapter, we delve into the concept of embracing the multiplicity of truths and its profound impact on navigating the unpredictable nature of life and business. Through a captivating story set in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks, we uncover the unexpected spike in demand for crab from a Bering Sea fishery in Japan. This peculiar situation serves as a reminder that strange and uncontrollable events often occur, and our success or failure hinges on how we respond to them. The key lesson lies in understanding that multiple truths coexist simultaneously. Fierce conversations, at their core, honor these diverse perspectives and strive to incorporate as many truths as possible. We witness this approach in action as the crab fishery navigates the surge in demand, recognizing that each individual involved, 
from the fisherman to the accountant, salesperson, and CEO, holds a unique context and truth. To effectively address business issues while embracing the multiplicity of truths, we outline a practical framework consisting of several crucial steps. First, it is essential to succinctly identify the issue at hand, categorize it, and provide a concise summary of the background and previous actions taken. Clear articulation of additional support required is also necessary. The second step involves convening a meeting that extends beyond direct stakeholders, including individuals who may be impacted downstream. Inclusivity should prevail, and participants should be provided with relevant context prior to the meeting, with an expectation of preparedness. During the meeting itself, a departure from note-taking in favor of genuine eye contact fosters a more engaged and participatory environment. Encouraging feedback and actively seeking out diverse perspectives ensures that all sides of the issue are explored. To facilitate this, individuals who may be less inclined to contribute should be directly called upon. Furthermore, when faced with disagreement, responding with authentic curiosity rather than defensiveness cultivates a space for open dialogue and mutual understanding. In the final step, all attendees are encouraged to generate and document their proposed solutions, which are subsequently shared aloud. Summarizing the collective input, expressing gratitude for participants' contributions, and providing regular updates on the outcomes create a culture that values and incorporates the multiplicity of truths. This approach ultimately leads to more nuanced and beneficial outcomes for everyone involved. Through the implementation of this framework, individuals and organizations can navigate the complexities of decision-making, honor diverse perspectives, and harness the power of fierce conversations to achieve holistic and sustainable success. Chapter 3. Stepping into Authenticity In this chapter, we explore the transformative potential of embracing authenticity and having fierce conversations, even in the face of fear and potential consequences. We are presented with a scenario where silence prevails in a meeting, despite knowing the true cause of a campaign's failure, all because of the fear of job security. However, we are encouraged to imagine the possibilities if we were to speak up and have the courage to address difficult conversations head-on. The key to having fierce conversations is stepping out from behind our inhibited selves and allowing our authentic selves to take the lead. Whether we find ourselves in the position of an employee or a manager, the same principle applies. By embracing our authentic selves, we create opportunities for growth, improvement, and stronger relationships. To embark on this journey towards authenticity, the chapter provides a series of assignments to help us connect with our true selves and cultivate the courage necessary for fierce conversations. First, we are encouraged to reflect on how we feel about ourselves, our lives, and our work, capturing our emotions in a few words or phrases. Next, we are prompted to envision our lives as a movie, exploring the plot, the conflicts, and the ideal ending. This introspective exercise allows us to understand the impact of fierce conversations on our relationships and provides a roadmap for self-discovery. We are encouraged to ask ourselves where we are headed, who will accompany us on this journey, and how we plan to get there. The third assignment focuses on identifying the individuals with whom we need to have fierce conversations. It could be a spouse, a manager, or siblings. We are urged to write down the topics we would like to address, setting the stage for open and honest dialogue. Lastly, we are prompted to choose one significant issue we wish to resolve. By clarifying the issue, recognizing our contribution to the situation and determining the desired resolution, we take ownership of our actions and commit to taking necessary steps towards change. The chapter emphasizes the importance of creating a contract with ourselves, solidifying our commitment to action. Through these intentional clarifications and conversations, we lay the foundation for our journey towards authenticity. By embracing our authentic selves and engaging in fierce conversations, we unlock the transformative power of self-discovery, improved relationships, and personal growth. Chapter 4, In Spoken Messages In this chapter, we delve into the importance of being fully present and attentive in conversations, understanding that sometimes the in-spoken messages hold significant meaning. Through a powerful example shared by Susan Scott during one of her Fierce Conversations workshops, we witness the impact of listening beyond words. Scott divided the audience into three groups, 
each assigned to focus on a different aspect of James's sharing, his words, his emotions, and his intentions. The group's observations varied, revealing the deeper layers of meaning in James's communication. While words convey one aspect, emotions and intentions often reveal more profound insights. The chapter emphasizes the role of maintaining eye contact as a means of staying engaged and attentive in conversations. By avoiding distractions and giving our full attention, we can uncover the unspoken messages and gain a deeper understanding of the speaker's intentions. To truly be present, the chapter suggests preparing for fierce conversations by asking thought-provoking questions beforehand. These questions aim to uncover hidden topics or desires, creating a space for more meaningful discussions. By delving deeper and listening attentively, we enhance our ability to engage authentically. During the actual conversation, the chapter advises us to resist the temptation to give advice or make declarative statements. Instead, it encourages active listening and being fully present. This requires the ability to bite our tongues and refrain from imposing our own judgments or opinions. The chapter then shifts its focus to the role of managers in delivering feedback. Acknowledging the natural aversion to confrontation, it introduces a practical and effective method for initiating feedback conversations. Scott outlines a seven-part opening statement that addresses the issue at hand, provides examples, expresses emotions, describes what is at stake, shows involvement and accountability, expresses a desire for resolution, and invites a response. The subsequent steps of interaction and resolution are discussed, emphasizing the importance of maintaining focus on the issue and working together to find a solution. By facilitating open dialogue and reaching a clear agreement, managers can effectively address performance issues or challenges within the team. In conclusion, being fully present and attentive to unspoken messages in fierce conversations enables us to uncover deeper meanings and foster more meaningful connections. Whether as active participants or as managers delivering feedback, our presence and genuine engagement contribute to building stronger relationships and achieving mutually beneficial outcomes. Chapter 5. The Power of Inspoken Words and the Sweetness of Your Wake This chapter explores the significance of unspoken thoughts and observations in conversations and emphasizes the importance of being mindful of the impact we leave behind. By imagining a sheet of paper with two columns, we are encouraged to acknowledge both the spoken words, right column, and our internal thoughts and observations, left column. The chapter illustrates this concept through a scenario involving Jin, a friend considering a promotion. While we may offer encouraging words in the right column, our left column might contain doubts or concerns about her chances compared to other candidates. Instead of suppressing these thoughts or expressing them in a way that could be hurtful, finding neutral ground is advocated. By providing constructive support, such as offering assistance with presentation skills, we can navigate the conversation effectively. Furthermore, the left-hand column serves as a space to note observations, enabling us to gain deeper insights into the emotions and experiences of others. By paying attention to unspoken cues, we can uncover hidden truths and facilitate healing and growth in individuals, as demonstrated in the example of David and his son Ron. The chapter challenges the notion of always being nice and emphasizes the importance of speaking the truth contained in the left column. While there may be fear of offending others, expressing our genuine thoughts is seen as an act of fierceness. It encourages us to be authentic and courageous in our conversations, recognizing that the truth, even when difficult, can lead to more meaningful connections. Another aspect discussed is the impact we leave behind in our interactions, referred to as our wake. Just as a taste lingers after a meal, the way we make others feel through our words, expressions, and tone can have a lasting impact. The chapter emphasizes the need to be aware of our wake and strive to leave a positive and uplifting impression on others. The chapter also touches on the significance of silence as a powerful tool in conversations. It suggests using silence to introduce pauses that allow for deeper understanding and self-reflection. However, it cautions against passive aggression or excessive silence that can hinder communication. Silence should be utilized thoughtfully as a means to create space for understanding and growth. In conclusion, conversations extend beyond mere exchanges of words.
They shape our relationships with others and ourselves, contributing to a more authentic existence. By embracing the power of unspoken words, being mindful of our wake, and utilizing silence effectively, we can cultivate healthier and happier connections, fostering personal growth and meaningful dialogue. Summary. When engaged in a heated discussion, your true and empowered self expresses the courageous and significant thoughts. Having numerous intense conversations throughout your life can result in improved connections with coworkers, loved ones, and your own well-being. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description. Trust me, you won't regret it.